Sunday morning, a time when black women love to dress up. The hat, a symbolic way that we reverence the Lord on Sunday morning. Hats became popular after slavery. This was the time that we wanted to look our best when we were worshiping. And hats were also considered a way that we honored God. But wearing hats was not just a fashion. It's a deeply rooted African tradition that has both spiritual and cultural significance. The hats are considered by the black woman as her crown, and they symbolize triumph over hardship. In the fields with the sweat running down their brows, those hats protected them from the sun. And also they tell a story about their God, our God underneath. We, it is a true expression of the black woman's belief in themselves, even the messages told our story. They symbolize how we were able to one day a week, we were only privileged to wear our best hat on Sunday. When we entered the master's house, our heads had to be covered because the story goes on to say that the master did not like the texture of our hair. We could not enter his house unless our heads were covered. To me, that just touched my heart. But today, we have continued the legacy of the hat and we have taken it another level in honor of our slave women who struggled in the fields and had to wear those hats as protection. The slave owners shaved our heads to strip them of their identity, but they could not take our spirit and our souls because those things were reverenced within our hearts. Even while on the plantation, black women used those things to distinguish themselves. You knew that we were a slave. You knew why we were praying. You knew our struggles and you knew how we were just painting and having to do these things. And it was so unfair to us, but deep within our hearts and souls, we knew that we were the least of God's children, but we knew that we were his special children. And he protected us when we were in the fields with that sweat running down their brows. They reverenced God, but they endured all these struggles so that we today could wear beautiful hats. We don't have to wear kerchiefs anymore. We don't have to wear rags on our heads. We adorn ourselves with jewels and diamonds and crowns because that's who we are today. And when we enter with these crowns on our heads, we reverence God because without grace and mercy, we would not be able to be who we are today. But God kept us for such a time as this. And today we give God all the glory, all the reverence, all the joy, because he allowed us to feel good about ourselves. No matter how we were treated, they could not strip us of our dignity. And as black women, we will continue to uphold this excellence. We will continue to wear those crowns because they lift us up. They make us feel good. And nobody can take away how we feel about ourselves because we too are God's chosen children. And all ladies, there's a hat for you. You just need to figure out which hat is for you. And when you put that hat on, you feel like you can conquer the world, but you can conquer the world because of the ancestors who wore those kerchiefs on their heads, who wore those rags on their heads to make it today that we can wear whatever we want to wear. We can wear rhinestones seven days a week, we can wear the curly hair if we choose to. We can wear the afros if we choose to, because we deserve the best because we are one of God's chosen children.